In this episode of Cod TV, we are talking about the drumming style of Brad Wilk from Rage Against the Machine. Yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Now, during Brad's time in Rage Against the Machine, he normally played pork pie drums and even removed his rack tom to put two cowbells there instead on the recording of the first album. Now, his influences are mainly John Bonham, Keith Moon, and Elvin Jones, but he's also cited Bill Ward as an influence, and he's even drummed on one of the Black Sabbath records, the album 13. But he also listened to a lot of James Brown drumming and would fall asleep to those James Brown records. And if you listen to the track Vietnam, you can hear his funky style of playing on that one. Now, Brad doesn't necessarily play drum fills in the traditional sense in Rage's music. When he does a drum fill, he's in unison with the other instruments, accenting those powerful hits. And one of my favorite examples of this is on the track, Fistful of Steel. Brad's signature techniques is he'll ride on the snare drum instead of using one of the cymbals. You can also hear him doing this on Rage Against the Machine's most popular tune, Killing in the name. has a unique way of blending so many different genres together while still maintaining their own sound and style. And on the track Year the Boomerang, you can hear Brad Wilk playing a mix of punk and prog in a groove that's in 5-4 time. Another great example of Rage's ability to blend in different sounds and styles together is on the track Microphone Fiend, which is a classic hip-hop song by Eric B. and Rakim. You can hear the heaviness in his playing while also mixing in all these different syncopations and stylistic things. Rage also knew how to play with dynamics, push and pull the tempo, and it's just something you have to do by listening to their music and getting inside their heads by checking out the kind of styles of music that they liked and listening to their music. They had a message, a very, very powerful one. So definitely check out 
all four Rage Against the Machine albums. And if you want to dig deeper into Brad's style of playing, check out Audio Slave, where it's basically the same instrumentation, but with Chris Cornell on vocals. And of course, as I mentioned before, he played on the Black Sabbath album, 13. So yes, please let me know what some of your favorite Rage Against the Machine songs are or if there's any other drummers you'd like me to talk about on this channel. So be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. But in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.